What's up, people? So I'm gonna do a quick video for you guys. I did a previous video a while ago on how to install a backup camera on my Dodge Ram. And it's actually got a lot of views so far, but the main question I get in that video is how I wired the camera to the back of my radio. So because I missed it in the first video, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna do another short video, and I'm gonna pull out my radio and show you guys what wires I hooked up and where I plugged in the RCA cord. Got everything tore apart. Um, I'm gonna show you the model of the radio I have first. It's a Pioneer. I think I got a guy that had a comment that he had the same exact radio as I do. This is model number AVH-X1500DVD. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you on the back of the radio, the two, uh, well the one wire I hooked up for the reverse signal and then where I plugged in my RCA for the camera signal. All right guys, hopefully you can see this. The radio's flipped over on its front, but the RCA is plugged in right there. And it actually says on mine, it says R.C.N. So rear cam in. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's rear cam in on my radio. That's what it's labeled as for the video signal. And as for the wire that tells your your radio to switch to the backup camera, mine is labeled reverse gear signal. So you run your power wire from your camera or your reverse lights to the back of your radio to this wire and what it does is it sends a power signal to your radio to tell it switch to the reverse cam and then when it switches to the reverse cam the actual video signal runs through your RCA to the back of your radio and then that's how you get your display hopefully that uh, clears anything up for you guys it's just two wires, well actually one wire and one RCA. Like I said, the RCA on mine is labeled RC in, which is rear camera in. And then the wire is reverse gear signal input. And you just put both of those to the back of your radio and it'll allow you to get the display that you need. Now the next thing I want to do is show you what my settings are at. So if you go into my settings system, that's what it looks like. I had uh, one person comment that they keep getting a black screen. So scroll all the way down. My cam camera polarity is on battery. You can do ground, off mine's on battery and the video signal for the camera is auto if you go back to the menu my rear view is off because if you turn this on it's going to show you a black screen all the time so I'm thinking the one uh, person that was commenting that you have a black screen, if you have this rear view on, you need to turn it off. So now I'll put the vehicle in reverse. And there's the display. Put it back in park. Goes back to your radio. Like it says, if you do have this on, it's gonna stay on that black screen. The camera work in reverse, but then when you put it back in park, it'll go back to the radio. Then within a couple seconds, it's gonna go back to the rear view. 
just like that. So go in your menus, turn that off. All right, guys, so hopefully that helped you out. Um, if you want uh, the video to the full install of the reverse camera, I'll link that below. But um, sorry I didn't put this in the first video on how to hook it up to the back of the radio, but hopefully this helps you guys out. Like I said, for those that have a similar radio, just RCA in to the back of the radio. Usually it's labeled rear camera. And then you want just the signal wire that goes from the camera or your reverse lights to the back of the radio. And it's usually labor, lev and it's usually labeled. So you guys got any comments? Put the comments below. This helped you out. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'll put a link to the full video in the description. Talk to you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.